Yeah, that body's a blessing, girl. I ain't trying to pressure her. She messed with the temperature. Hey guys, Nick C here from the Sticky Socks and welcome to today's video. So since Trials matchmaking has been adjusted to make it definitely harder to go flawless, I wanted to make a few videos giving you guys some tips on how to become a better player in Trials of Osiris and in Crucible in general. So the first of these series is clutching. Clutching is basically when you're the last man standing on your team and it's you against the odds. Having a player who can clutch in your team can prove deadly in Trials and will save your ass more times than you can count. Here's some footage of my team in trials last night. They got caught inside where shotguns prevail and I tried to make a rescue attempt and revive my teammates. It didn't work out, so I back off and go to the place where I'm most comfortable sniping and where I have lots of space to work with. Putting space between you and the other team is what will save you, as I say, go to the place where you're most comfortable in and where there's plenty of space to snipe and avoid shotguns, last word and stuff that does lots of damage real quick. So I'm just sitting on the back of the map waiting for a head to pop out and eventually it does. I throw a grenade to cover the body to avoid him reviving him and I get the second guy with a body shot and he had the damage from the grenade. A bit earlier I heard a hunter go invisible so I know I'm going to get rushed. I back off, try to snipe and miss but it's okay I see he's got a low rate of fire shotgun. I pull out my last word and end the round. I'm lucky to be a player who performs much better under pressure and loves the adrenaline rush when you get when you succeed under pressure. So what else can you do to help you clutch more? Well, number one, I highly advise using Last Word and the Sniper for a clutch player loadout. You can compete with shotguns at close range and have the advantage at long range. Yes, there is a bit of a skill barrier to Last Word, but do some practice with it and it'll become second nature to you. Number two, I advise practicing your skills a lot in Rumble. Why Rumble? Rumble puts your 1v1 player skills to the test and forces you to process lots of things very quickly. It's mayhem and that's what will improve your skill in, in those kind of situations. The last thing I can advise is practice your sniper positioning. When you are about to turn the corner, picture where the enemy's head is going to be and try to put your sniper there. Here's an example. Again I am in a 1v3 situation and the enemy team are in the train track area where my teammates bodies are. I'm just about to turn the corner and I quickly adjust my sniper height. Turn the corner and get the snipe. Again I back off to get ready for my next shot and line it up, he pops out and I get the kill. My teammates then inform me that the last guy is under and is going to jump up so I get one of my teammates up and finished up the third guy. This, the entire clutch was only possible because my teammates kept me informed as to where the enemies were and me knowing my limits. This is our next point, knowing your limits. After my first snipe I knew straight away that I needed to get into cover and back off. I knew that I couldn't take on two especially when they have their primaries out because if I tried to get the second guy my chances of pulling off the shot would be very very low as he would have his shots on me with his primary and my sniper would just go everywhere. So just know how much you can do. Taking risks is good but don't take stupid ones. Clutching is all about making good decisions very quickly. So guys as I said at the start of this, this will hopefully be a series of videos and if you want to see more of this kind of stuff on the channel give this video a like and I'll go off that. Subscribe for more great Destiny content and remember, stay sticky guardians.